Hey guys, it's Dieselworks123 here, and I just thought that I would go through a bit of a behind the scenes with the King of the Railway Troublesome Trucks video that I made. Well, as you can see, all of my troublesome trucks have HO wheels on them. They are taken plays and tank alongs. And I've actually got a talking troublesome truck here converted. Steamies are silly. Steamies are slow. However, the blue truck um, that was behind all the troublesome trucks um, still has take and play wheels on it. Um, but since it was connected, it was um, in between two take and plays I have which do have HO wheels, um, it actually stayed in place. So it was alright to have in the middle. Now for this scene here we see Thomas and Percy breaking. Actually, all I've done is on the side that you don't see, I've blue tacked their wheels together so that when they're pushed along their wheels don't move. I've done with the same with Percy as well. Most people look at my set and when they watch the video they ask if it actually is on a hill angle as you see in the opening shot. It looks like it's going downhill. Whereas in actual fact, all I've done, because you see how the set is flat, it's flat, okay? If it wasn't flat, the carriages would be going, Aah. but all I've done is, where there's a bit of a ledge here between the set and the set table I'm using, all I did was tilt the camera on an angle. And now it looks like the set is going downhill. So that's a little trick if you don't want to create steep inclines or hills for your sets. And if I was to reverse doing that, it would look like they were going uphill. Here's a big uh, bird's eye view of the set. Um, it's just a giant grass mat. And there's some Tomy items here, like the signal box and the signal. We've got some um, lamp, I mean, uh, power poles, which originally have stands on them, so they stand up properly. But what I did was I chopped one of the stands, oh, I chopped the stands off. Uh, how many have I got? Four power poles, drilled little holes into the set. So they look like that, there's the hole there, and I could just stick the power poles in. I also added a little extra details like broken sleepers, rusty pieces of track, and old sets of wheels, along with trees, and bushes. And just to note, the gravel here isn't glued down. The track is nailed down, but the gravel is all just sitting there. If I just rub a bit of it away, you'll see the grass that's underneath it, so it's quite interesting. I'm not sure if I'll glue the ballast down, but only time will tell. Using the grass mat gave me a great opportunity to create a nice looking realistic hill. And all it is, if I can do this, okay, no, you can see a bit of it over there. See that bit of white in the corner? It's actually a piece of polystyrene. The whole hill is a massive piece of polystyrene that I've filed down to shape. And then the grass mat has just been put on top of the whole set. So it gives a really realistic feel. And if I just get one of my models, at the moment I'm using a modified Steven. Yes, he's got a big funnel and no tender. I'll just use him as an example. If I roll him down, he actually stays up until he hits the bottom. I'm currently trying to put Steven onto HO wheels, but I think I'll wait until I can get the original Steven instead of Steven's original livery. I would just like to quickly um, examine my Thomas and Percy for you. I get a lot of people asking me, do you use pull and zoom Thomas and Percy models? Well, yes and no. They are standard um, 
Thomas and Percy take and play models, but what I've done is take the faces off the pull and zoom models and attach them to the standard models. Here's a quick example of the differences in the faces. This is a stock standard Thomas, and that is the pull and zoom face Thomas, which is my HO one. That is standard Percy, and this is HO converted Percy with pull and zoom face. I was planning on putting model railway um, ballast into the trucks, but what I found was um, the scenes where you see Thomas and Percy racing past, every scene I did was, or oh, I had them set up properly, just take that off, but I didn't have enough room on the set to make them go fully past, but the only way I could achieve a fully passing uh, scene was I had to go like this when I was pulling them with the string. I had to pull them off the set so that I could get Thomas and Percy and all the trucks to go fully past the screen without you seeing them stopping. And I'm pretty sure from that little crash you just saw, you can understand why I didn't put the ballast in. If I did, I would have a massive mess on my floor in my room. I was planning to have cameos of some of my other HR converted take and play models, but I figured because the scene in the King of the Railway only features Thomas Percy and the trucks, um, I decided to just stick with them. For those who are wondering, this mail truck comes from a pull and zoom Percy. For those of you with a keen eye, you'll see that I actually used two Thomas models in this remake. One was my happy face um, pull and zoom converted take and play Thomas. And the other was a take-along Thomas with a surprised expression, which was seen in this scene here. This take-along surprise Thomas was the very first HA converted take-and-play or take-along model I made. As you can see, it's got different wheels compared to my new take-and-play HA converted Thomas. I really need to repaint the wheels. Huh, those engines don't know how to handle trucks. <laughs> well, I do, because I'm an expert on taking trucks. I work in the quarry, so I think I'm very strong.